Bumalanga has launched a clinic-based COVID-19 disease prevention model. It aims to integrate coronavirus-related medical activities into the primary health care service. Bumalanga's health MEC, Sasekane Manzini, joins me now with more on this. Good evening and thank you so much for your time. MEC, one of the challenges that we saw you battling, especially at the onset of this uh, disease in the country and the lockdowns that were implemented, was the troubles at the borders with uh, Mozambique in particular and Eswatini where people seem to be finding different ways of still getting access to uh, South Africa. Has that been resolved? Uh, good evening to yourself, uh, to the viewers at home. Uh, you are correct. Uh, when we started uh, to have the, the COVID-19 positive cases as a country, that's where we went and focused also as a province, because as you're correctly putting it, we are bordering your Swaziland and Mozambique, and uh, uh, hence we went there to check in terms of uh, the compliance, especially during that time, in terms of your screening, because we had a lot of movement, especially of people going in out uh, also of the province and of the country. And also what we did uh, as led by the Honorable Premier, Omer Philip Tuenzipane, and also with SAPS and, and SNDF, we took some tour to look at the uh, illegal uh, uh, crossing uh, from Mozambique and, and, and also from Switzerland. It's something that uh, on a daily basis is, is being monitored uh, in that regard because it's the reality that there are those people that are crossing on a daily basis, hence we are trying to control, hence to us. We are also monitoring the numbers of your Switzerland and Mozambique because we know that the one way or the other it is going to affect us as a province. How does that if at all, affect the kind of work that you're doing when you try and manage then the spread of COVID-19, especially if you're saying those breaches are still happening, that people are still able to cross? As I'm saying, we, we rely in the main, as a Department of Health, of course, you'll understand from the you know, SAPS and SNDF. So we, we are reassured also in terms of the report that they are on a daily basis monitoring and they do have uh, camps in those areas where they are making sure that they prevent people from crossing from one uh, country to another using this illegal crossing. So we can say that in terms of the enforcement, we are assisted in that regard. But of course, we'll continue uh, to make sure that we monitor that mm -hmm. in terms of uh, those that are visiting our facilities, in terms of whether are they from the country or not. So we are working together with the law enforcement in making sure that there is some enforcement of compliance. In terms of uh, sectors and industries, the mining sector has been one of those where they've registered quite a number, a high number of COVID-19 cases. And it also seems to spread quite quickly within uh, mines where there are outbreaks. Speak to us about what the experience in Mbumalanga has been. Yes, you are correct. Uh, you know that Mbumalanga is a mining uh, province. And of course, in the main, it's your uh, Emalateni, your Steve Chuete, and also your government bank. Hence, uh, these uh, municipalities are the highest in terms of our hotspot. If you look at uh, uh, in Kangala, uh, there were 780 cases so far, and your MLA, which is leading in the province with 2,171, mm -hmm. and your Kharsiband, uh, which is around 1,100 at, at uh, uh, government bank. So you're correct. The, mining, the mines are contributing in terms of the increase in the number of positive cases in the province. But what we have done as a department is that we are working, we have created a working relationship with the mining house and all the different mines to make sure that they comply. And uh, we have also done a physical a monitoring ourselves, even though it's not all the mines, but uh, we have got teams that are also monitoring mines in terms of compliance. But of course, you'll agree with me that uh, as much as these are workers, they are also part of the community. Hence, our approach is to make sure that we deal with uh, the, the issue of uh, preventing to, of, of COVID-19 being infected at a, at a community level and also at a workplace because you can't separate the two. Hence, our approach uh, in that is a word-based approach where we are able to deal with workers, we are able to deal with also the members of the community that they are also part of as workers. Would you say that there has been a high rate of compliance from the mines? Uh, you know, when you go there, in terms of uh, the plans that are putting in place, we also know that DMR is also giving them compliance certificates after 
they've looked at the plans in place in terms of everything that they've done. But of course, when you go there, you'll find some gaps and what that we are identifying uh, for them to correct. And But what is good is that most of the time when you identify the gap, they are able to say they are going to correct that. So they, they will not be 100% in terms of the compliance, but also what is key, we also involve the unions in those different mines so that they are there in that space on a daily basis representing the workers so that if there's anything that is not done according to what we have seen as plans or according to what we have seen when we go there for monitoring, they are able to assist that in that regard to say they are doing the they are doing what is expected on a daily basis. All right. Mpumalanga Health MEC, Sasegane Manzini. Let's leave it there for tonight.